Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got pearl white and a light pink hollow gradient requested by JKB. I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2 and here is OPI's and this one's called Dancing Keeps Me on My Toes. So I'm going to cap my free edge first and then I'm going to go in with my first coat. She wanted me to do this with uh, Tokyo Pearl by OPI and I looked all through my collection and I, I can't find it. So if I had it, I've lost it. So I went with something else kind of pearly white looking. This one's got, like, got some gold shimmer or something in it. And I have to be quite honest, it doesn't have the best formula ever. It's not horrible, but it's, you know, these frosty polishes tend to be streaky and you have to be very careful with your application and <laughs> it's a lot of extra work. <laughs> Beautiful polish though. Looks gorgeous on the nails. Hi Woody, how you doing? I'm going to top this one with some of the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to seal it in before we do our gradient. I did do um, a couple of coats of that on each nail just to have me a good solid base. So it's very pretty on its own. I'm going to be using these Beauty Big Bang Nail Protectors or Peel Off Nail Tape today. And they've got instructions on the back. I will leave a link for these down below if you're interested. And I'm only going to show me struggling getting one of these on. I just kind of plop it down up by the cuticle and then just kind of peel and pull and work it around. They are tricky to get on, but they really do get up close to that nail. So if you're doing something real messy, they're great. I have my dampened makeup wedge here, and I'm just going to go in with these two colors. And I didn't show the second color. Um, <laughs> so it is a color club hollow, and I believe it's called Harp on it? No. No, this one is Cloud Nine. So I've got that OPI, which is, you know, Dancing Keeps Me on My Toes. And then this one right here is Color Club's uh, Cloud Nine. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just doing like I normally do when I do gradients, and I just roll through them. I start with one one nail and just work my way through all of them and then reload that sponge. Now the very first round I showed at normal speed but every time I reload that sponge I'm going faster and faster up through my speed options on my film footage here because gradients sometimes can take me a little while and make a movie like a movie not just a quick video. So here we go with more of these two colors and I have added one and this one is mm, Color Club Trick of the Trade and that's one of the hollows that I got from Walmart because I felt like the tips just needed just a little bit of something. I just needed it. Just a little something extra. And I'm starting on, you know, getting close to my last rounds here. I'm starting to get happy with how it's looking. But these are, especially that white, it's kind of like a sheer color. And it's, it's I just, I keep messing with it until I'm happy. And that's what I suggest you do. I mean, it might take one round, two rounds of uh, doing the gradient here. But whatever makes you happy. Do it until you see what you want to see. And it's kind of hard because like two of the colors are, they don't look similar at all right there on that sponge, but on the nail, they're kind of, they're just similar. Now, I can tell you out in sunshine today, I could totally see, I could totally see the difference in the two colors. They do blend up really quick into each other. So I'm using my tweezers and just pulling off that protective film around that I had that protective 
tape that I had around. And now I'm going to do my final cleanup with some acetone and a cleanup brush here. There we go. Get up under there because that's where it's going to hide. I'm going to top it again with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat because I'm still not done. I know some people would stop right here and it would be totally fine to do that. But I have to do a couple of accent nails. I just have to. Hi, Woody. Good to see you again. So there is the gorgeous gradient. I do love the gradient. I'll be using this plate BC06, my monocle stamper, beauty scraper, and Sally Hansen's purple heart. And that's from the Insta Dry Color Crayon, Crayola collection. I was having trouble coming up with that. The Crayola Collection. So I'm going to do some stamping right here on my thumb and my ring finger. And that's all I'm going to do today. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to just try to behave just a little bit. Cleaning that plate off with some pure acetone. And we're going to swatch this one out again. I like this image. It's almost like a butterfly wing, but lace or something so I just I was drawn to it so I decided to go ahead and use it sorry I'm almost totally out of frame but there we go cleaning up that excess with some tape it's coming up really well because I put that Burt's Bees down I didn't show it earlier in the video but I did put that Burt's Bees on them cuticles there we go and now I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Funnels because I am really done. <laughs> I'm done doing stuff to this manicure. So there we go. Nice and glossy top coat. Just running it right over the top. And I'm capping that free edge. And here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.